All right, today we're gonna create initial plaques. So I've given you a big lump of clay. Go ahead and form that into a smooth sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional form of a circle. Circles are flat, spheres are not. We're gonna put this down. You're gonna find a texture. We'll put this down and we're gonna slump it down. Then, very carefully from the center out, we are gonna form a slab. A slab is a flat piece of clay. I'm working from the center, going to the edges, using this side of my hand, not my knuckles. I do not want little valleys in there. We're gonna try to get this big enough to have a, your template. Trying to get it nice and even, thick as your finger. Getting pretty close. All right, let's check and see if it fits. Ah, oh, perfect, it fits. So, I can go ahead and peel my slab off my texture. Look at that, I picked up lots of beautiful texture from my burlap. Lay this down, put your template on top. We're gonna take our cutting tool, which is a skewer. Use your helper hand to hold. Skewer is going to stand tall like a soldier. It's all the way through the clay onto the table. I can feel it. I'm gonna pull it towards me. It's easier to pull it towards you. Rotate. Pull towards you, rotate, pull towards you, rotate. When you're done, pull this off very carefully, get your extra clay off. You can leave there or that. Do not go ahead and roll that up, just leave it. Now I've got all these like um, shark teeth and those will become really, really sharp when we add the glaze or the paint for clay. So I'm gonna make sure I get that smooth. When you're all set and ready and it's nice and smooth. All right, now that I have my base smooth and ready, I'm actually going to take part of my slab here and form it. Move this out of the way. So I got this fuzzy burlap. Form it into a coil. Coil is like a rope. You're gonna start in the center, rolling it up your fingers and down, just gently. So I go up and down in the middle and I work my way out, so up and out. Try to keep it even. If you're pulling too hard, you might get it too skinny and it could break like that. When you have the size coil you want, you're thinking about your letter. If I wanted a D, I need this line here, and then I would need a curved line like that. So I'll have to measure. I can pinch that, knowing that's where that's gonna go. And my D. If you wanna get fancy and do some cursive, you can. I think I kind of like the looks of that one. When you're ready, you are gonna scratch and attach all your pieces. Get it secure. Smooth it out. I'm gonna turn this one over. Scratch, scratch. Get it placed in there and then Press it into your base. There we go. Now you can double check. If you want to add any more texture to your letter D, you can, or your whatever letter you have. I will be coming around poking holes in your plaques. And the next time I see you, we will glaze it with colored 
paint for clay, and then we will add a pipe cleaner with some beads, and then you'll be able to hang up your initial plaque.